Hi people. I've been trying to make a video about spell power for a while, but it's a tricky subject and it's hard to not get rather technical. I'll do my best and give it a shot anyway. As you might have noticed, whenever you get a spell power item, it is formulated as increases damage and healing done by magical spells and effects by up to X. All spells won't receive the full bonus. Depending on the number of factors, you can calculate the spell power coefficient of a certain spell. This number, a value between 0 and 1, is multiplied by your total amount of spell power and then gives the bonus damage or healing of your spell. Now, just a reminder, when translating from this form to percent, you multiply by 100. So, a 0.5 coefficient means you get a 50% bonus. I'm gonna shift between talking about the multiplier value and percentage value here and there. Alright, so, there are a number of things or factors which determines the spell power coefficient. They are the cast time, the dot or hot, that's healing over time, duration, the channel time, if the rank you use is learned below level 20, and if you're using the max rank or not. Let's start off with cast time. For all casted spells with direct damage, such as firebolt, the coefficient is calculated by taking the cast time through 3.5. That's casting time before any haste or cast time reduction talents. Any spell with a casting time over 3.5 is counted as a 3.5 seconds cast, meaning you can't get a bigger coefficient than 1. Anything with a cast time below 1.5 seconds is counted as a 1.5 seconds cast, such as instant spells. Alright, so far so good. Next, let's look at dots and hots. There you have spell duration through 15. So, a 12 seconds duration, such as rejuvenation, gives 0.8 times your spell power. This bonus is divided over the number of ticks. So, 4 ticks and 0.8 in coefficient means 20% per tick. Any dot with a duration of over 15 seconds is counted as a 15 seconds dot, or hot. If you increase the duration of the spell, either via talents or tier bonuses, you receive the same bonus per tick, which will then, due to more ticks, add up to a bigger total bonus. For channel spells, it's channeling time through 3.5. Mindflay, with a 3 seconds duration, get a 0.85 coefficient. It is then divided over the number of ticks, meaning 28% bonus per tick for a total of 85% bonus over the duration. As for which rank you are using, it now gets a bit technical. First of all, all ranks learned below level 20 receives a pretty big penalty. Otherwise, you could spam rank 1 spells, doing a pretty big chunk of damage or healing for no mana at all. That is also the reason why spell power is pretty weak below level 20. To calculate your penalty to spell power coefficient, you take 20 minus the level the spell is learned times 3.75%. You then take this sum and subtract it from 100%. You then multiply this to the coefficient. So, for example, rank 1 Frostbolt has a 1.5 seconds cast time, meaning it has a 0.43 coefficient. It's learned at level 4, so 16 times 0.0375 equals 0 0.6. 1 minus 0 0.6 equals 0 0.4. So the bonus becomes 0.4 times 0.43, which is equal to 0.17. Continuing, it matters if you're using a rank below the max rank of that spell which you currently know or can learn. Here, you obtain your penalty by doing the following. Take the level at which you learn the next rank. So, if you're using rank 3, take the level at which you learn rank 4 then subtract 1 to that level. Add 5 and divide this by your current level. 
multiply this result with the spell power coefficient. For example, a level 60 druid using rank 5 healing touch. That's a 3.5 seconds cast, so 1.0 spell power coefficient. Rank 6 is learned at level 32, so 32 minus 1 plus 5 divided by 60, which is equal to 0 0.6. So you get 1 times 0 0.6, meaning a 60% bonus to the heal. The whole idea of downranking is that despite the reduced spell power coefficient, the quote between healing done through mana cost is greater at least with enough plus healing. Basically, your spells are much more mana efficient. So, let's give a complete example to make sense of all that I've said. Let's take a level 60 mage with 200 spell damage. The mage is using rank 3 arcane missiles. We will now calculate the spell power bonus. Channeling time, 5. So channeling time through 3.5 and anything above 3.5 is counted as 3.5, so here it becomes 1. However, as rank 3 is not max rank, and rank 4 is learned at 32, the down ranking penalty becomes 32 minus 1 plus 5 divided by 60, meaning 0 0.6. So, 1.0 times 0 0.6 equals 0 0.6 meaning the mage receives a total of 120 bonage damage divided over the 5 waves of the missiles. So that's 24 bonage damage per wave. I hope that wasn't too confusing. Now, there are a bunch of things that are more complicated than this. What about spells with both direct healing or damage and a follow-up dot or hot on top of that, like immolate or regrowth? Or what about a shaman searing totem, or the weapon enchants of a shaman or a paladin? Let me know in the comments if you'd like to know how the spell power coefficients work there. Like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you'd rather just have someone else do the math. By the way, if you test this out and these models are completely off, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.